my name is Marilyn Kamen. I'm with the North Country Master Gardener Volunteers in the Spooner Agricultural Station. To give you a little bit of background about myself, I took the Master Gardener course in 2019. So this is my first year as a graduate uh, of the Master Gardener program. We are in Spooner, Wisconsin, and I volunteered this year to take care of and plan and plant and tend pinwheel number eight. So this is the space that I'm taking care of. It's really been a fun adventure for me. Uh, let me just tell you about the plants or the flowers and vegetables that I have in this garden. We have the onyx red pepper at the front. The dianthus is the pink here behind the onyx red pepper. The petunia here, you can see that. And then in the center, we have the big duck gold marigold surrounded by the superhero spry marigold. And I'll get back to that in a moment because that was um, a planning, a learning lesson for me and the relationship between these two marigolds. Then we have two types of peppers. We have cabbage back here and underneath the uh, cabbage leaves is the gypsophilia, which has totally been overgrown by the cabbage and has not survived very well at all. And frankly, that was my common experience last year when our group in the training class had the same flower. It just doesn't do well here. And then at the back is the zinnia. So let me tell you a little bit about the thought process behind the um, area, pinwheel number eight. For me, this is kind of a large area, and so I had to figure out, okay, what am I going to do and how is it going to look? I wanted it to look like a blanket, with the centerpiece being the big duck gold marigolds. Now, in my mind, when I was planning this, I asked for some superhero spry marigolds, which are red and yellow, and as you can see, they are just jet naturally shorter but they are so much shorter and the big duck gold take your eye immediately so that the, the smaller marigolds were intended to kind of put a ring around the big duck gold, but it just hasn't worked out quite. So that was a learning experience in terms of height, in terms of flower size, in terms of attractiveness, but I still like it. Um, I am really happy with the way the petunias have filled in and it just looks like a beautiful blanket. So that has gone well for me. In terms of planting the gardens, um, when I, if you don't know anything about Spooner, where we are, for lack of a better word, we're in, the, in a big cornfield. It is open, it is sunny, and it is dry almost all the time unless obviously it's raining. So what I did was when I planted my area, I created a little bit of a raised bed. And although you can't see it now, there was a ridge of soil along the edge, a curb, if you will, of soil. And the idea was to trap the water that was coming down so that the water would remain in the inside of the garden and furnish the moisture to the plants that were there. Um, in terms of challenges for me, I didn't know how many plants to order. I looked up how wide the plants would get, how tall the plants would get, and I even have this little diagram here and oh, it was going to be just luxurious. Well, it is kind of luxurious, but I ordered way too many plants. The people giving me the plants must have been hilariously laughing at the number of plants I initially ordered, and of course I didn't get that many. Well, that's just as well, because now I can see that I could have had confidence in the ability of the plant itself to expand and fill in. And that indeed, I believe, is what has happened. Um, so, let's see, I've mentioned the raised water bed, I've mentioned the challenge of spacing and planning, I've mentioned the marigolds, and that was a challenge for me, and the gypsophila, they just don't do well out here. It's too dry, and because I put them near cabbage,
cabbages with big leaves and much uh, greater height, the cabbage has overtaken uh, the gypsophila. So I wouldn't do that again next year. I probably wouldn't even ask for it. But on the whole, I love my garden. It's great, and I've learned a lot. So this is Marilyn Kamen from Pinwheel Number 8 at the Spooner Agricultural Station. Thanks a lot. Bye.